Next speaker is a professional full out. Sri Ashwata Narayanan has been serving this great nation for a great number of years in a great number of ways. And there's too much to share, so I'll list some of the highlights of this service. He was involved in the preparation of the five-year plan and Karnataka State's case before the Finance Commission. As Education Secretary, he was involved in the drafting of the Karnataka Education Act in 1983, which for the first time incorporated the fundamental duties enumerated in the Constitution of India to be a part of the teaching curriculum in schools. In 1993, he retired as the chairman of the Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India after initiating many new schemes. Professionalism is vital in all fields, but especially when it comes to matters of life and death. On January 1, 2001, he joined the Chinmai Mission Hospital in Bangalore to help out. And like many sevaks and sevikas in Chinmai Mission, he came to help out, but stayed on and on and on. He is the CEO of our Chinmai Mission Hospital, and I humbly invite him to come share some insights into our hospital in Bangalore. Pranams to Pooja Gurudev, Pranams to Guruji, all Acharyas, and all the Sevaks and Sevikas from India and abroad. I bring greetings from Swami Brahmandraji from Bangalore and make this small presentation, though a little dense, about the Chinmaya Mission Hospital, which I joined on the 1st of January 2001. Uh, we have the exhortation of Swami Chinmayananda stated here, which is the guiding force for people in the hospital. This is the beginning. There was a dispensary started by devotees Dr. Purushottaman and Dr. Sushila Purushottaman. The inauguration was done by Puja Gurudev. It was in a, a slum area in Murphy Town that was way back in 67-68. Then, we were allotted a site, uh, nothing compared to the luxury of Chinmay Vibhuti, just three acres of land of which one acre is the mission and two acres was given to the hospital to build the facility. And the foundation stone for this was uh, laid by Puja Gurudev on February 4th. 1968. This started with a small beginning. 20 beds were added in 1970. And by 1979, the bed strength increased to 50. It was around this period when Puja Gurudev had a setback in Mysore. He decided to come and rest and recuperate in the Chinmaya Mission Hospital itself. It was indeed a noble gesture because not only it showed his attachment to the uh, child that he spawned, but also to give confidence to the public that this is a hospital in which you can believe in. <laughs> Some more facilities were added as we went along a burn sword with the help of Rotary Club of Bangalore. And in 1986, we started the Chinmaya Institute of Nursing, in which Dr. Sushila Purushottaman took a very active part. We started the three-year diploma courses for the first time. And four special ward rooms were also commissioned. Labor room was remodeled. Uh, this is some reminiscences of uh, one of the first directors 
of the hospital, Dr. Muni Chodappa. He was associated with the hospital as a physician and diabetologist from 1972 onwards and became the first director thereafter uh, at the, when uh, Dr. Prashottaman handed over the baton to him in presence of Pooja Gurudev. And it shows um, how the exhortation of selfless service which Pooja Gurudev was preached about was, was being practiced in this hospital. I know personally of many doctors who came and gave their time free for service of the patients. A couple of relatives of my wife who were doctors were giving their time. And the situation in the hospital was, the financial situation was not too good. They were always dependent on the mission for support. And that's how this he describes that he was borrowing money from CCMT and paid them later. And there was no question of any salary for the medical director in those days. He was taking about 900 rupees per month for, uh, uh, for his conveyance. Then in 1992, the Dhanvantri ward, there is the first major ward with uh, uh, nine single beds and 23 two-bedded wards were commissioned. Um, we have also contributed in a small way to Chinmaya Dhanvantri here. And in, by 1993, though it had about 100 beds, uh, some modern equipment and for diagnostics, etc. We mission always has been that we serve the local community, all sections of society at affordable prices. At that time, it was felt that the number of beds that we had was a little too small to serve the needs of the community. And plans were drawn to add 100 more beds. Now, you have a list of the various uh, directors who succeeded Dr. Muni Chudapa and guided the hospital in the initial years. He was circulated by Dr. B.T. Nair, then Dr. Krishna Bhargava, who was the founder director of the Kidwai Cancer Institute, Dr. Yu Taranath, and finally Dr. Dramaji Rao. And the current lead medical director is Lieutenant Colonel retired Dr. M. R. Chandra Shekha. In 1994, the foundation stone was laid for the tower block, which was to add another 100 beds to the hospital. At that time, uh, there was uh, uh, no uh, inclination as to how and where the funding would come, but the, uh, Pujya Gurudev had said that money will come, you start. And that's how it started and the foundation stone was laid on 12th November uh, 1994 by Guruji. <clears throat> the Chinmaya Institute of Nursing, for which also the foundation stone was laid around the same time, it was inaugurated in 1996, and the Tamar block was also inaugurated on November 6, 1999, five years from the day we started, and the hospital emerged as the healing temple as it was con uh, conceived by Pooja Gurudev. Uh, some uh, information about the additional areas which were uh, added. Uh, roughly we had about 25,000 square feet and we added another 38,000, 39,000 square feet in the tower block. This five-year construction of the tower block was guided, steered by Dr. Hedji S. Reddy, who was the chairman, and then the Bansar Balakrishnan was the chief administrator of the Chinmaya Trust, and uh, a whole lot of devotees, led by Sakala Narasimhalu, they mobilized the funds, including the friends of the Chinmaya Hospital from North America. 
and uh, it was inaugurated, as I told you, 6 November 1999. This is just uh, some indication of the contributions which came from different uh, organizations in India and abroad who contributed to the success of the completion of this tower block. Yeah, from all over, uh, USA, Hong Kong, and many have also contributed to uh, the trust. In fact, the Ashray Hasta Trust belongs to one of the former directors of the Infosys Foundation. Uh, we had these facilities by then, uh, 24 by 7 emergency and casualty, x-ray, laboratory, pharmacy, and so on. Uh, we worked with a small number of in-house consultants and, and a large number of visiting consultants. We have about 100 visiting consultants. The outpatient attendance were about 150 a day. And it was gradually increasing. So this was the turning point. In fact, uh, unless the beds which had been added in the tower block were fully utilized, the surpluses would not be coming in, and therefore further uh, development of the hospital would not be possible. So uh, the, the strategy that was adopted at that point of time, that was the time actually I joined, it is 2001, we decided that we should upgrade our diagnostics because the practice of medicine had moved on and we needed special diagnostic equipment, including special imaging equipment. We didn't have money to invest. A CT scan or an MRI scan would together would require about five to six crores of investment even in those days. Uh, and we didn't have that kind of money. So what we did was that we outsource them, give them space in our uh, premises, they invest and run the facility. Because these uh, highly capital intensive uh, uh, diagnostic equipment also requires to be, the, the services have to be charged as in the market. So we decided that we will have an arm's length relationship while in the hospital we have a graded structure of tariff Right, starting from the concessional ward, general ward, semi-private ward, private ward, deluxe ward. We have different uh, tariffs, whereas these diagnostic pe people who will come, they will charge as according to the market, otherwise there wouldn't be any investment coming in. And this was also the requirement of the specialists who were coming into the hospital who needed this uh, facility to be able to uh, see that uh, their profession can be uh, enriched, so the patients can be uh, helped. So uh, we first, first one, very first one, which we brought in was the Subtegity Digital Imaging Center with a CT scanner and uh, color Doppler and so on. We added our own later on, and they also added in 2006 and a basic MRI equipment. Uh, we fought the first ICU in the hospital, a 10-bedded ICU, and a dialysis unit from NU Trust, which uh, earlier it was called the Bangalore Kidney Foundation. We added that this was inaugurated by His Excellency T. N. Chaturvedi, the then governor of Karnataka in 2004. This is the MRI, a picture of the CT and the MRI in the Subdegree Digital Imaging Center. Now, the other area was special uh, specialists whom we cannot hire. Take, for example, a cardiologist or a nephrologist. It was not possible for us to pay the market price for such specialists and hire them. And it was also a highly specialized activity. So we decided that we again outsource this to another reputable organization 
which also has the spirit of service in sort of in synergy with us and has the same work in the same wavelength we start narayan hridayalaya the premier cardiac care institution we asked requested them to come in first they started a cardiac care unit uh, just emergency care this was also inaugurated on 8th uh, november 2001 by guruji uh, dr kadambi an ophthalmologist he established an uh, lasik surgery in 2001 it ran till 2009 nephrologists also are an expensive lot we can't get them easily so the new trust they started the nephrology urology unit in 2003 and provided dialysis facility then <coughs> it was handed over to narayan hridayalaya nephrology center in june 2010 now they are running it with 15 beds from june 2010 we have a picture of the kidney center we got dialysis we also added a neonatal uh, intensive care unit as well as a pediatric intensive care unit in two, uh, november 2009 it's also an outsourced facility so this was an extremely important requirement as an adjunct to our pediatrics uh, department and this is serving uh, the neonatal problems very effectively because otherwise we used to be sending to higher centers now we are able to treat them in our own hospital uh now we have added a 10 another 10 bedded icu and then uh, 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 this 10 bedded icu was also inaugurated i told you about by the governor so there also various services adjunct services which he added on a mechanized laundry we started with a solar water heaters for all uh, wards and we also added a um, uh, circulation unit hot water circulation unit just like in five star hotels so that you have to don't have to run water for 15 minutes before you get hot water then a blood storage unit was added in 2005 the physiotherapy department was modernized and we also uh, had an effluent treatment plant which is for the industrial trade effluents commissioned and this water is reused for gardening as well as flushing uh with the collaboration with jain institute for vascular sciences we have started a diabetic foot clinic and we also run a diabetic and endocrinology clinic So these are all specialities which have been added from time to time. Now, laboratory again has to become modern. Now, everything is automated. We have uh, 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 Siemens auto analyzer for biochemistry. We have the Roche immunology auto analyzer with chemistry millisense, and uh, it produces. Uh, automated uh, reports and we we have over 3 lakhs per year we, uh, uh, we do investigations we have also introduced barcoding for all lab samples so that there is no mix up or confusion we have uh, improved our ophthalmology department the green laser equipment and other equipment for diabetic retinopathy a uh, visual fly analyzer for detection of glaucoma uh, we got the ent and orthopedics operating microscope uh, we got uh, up to date uh, ultrasound machines uh, we also added some special equipment required for uh, special ortho uh, orthopedic surgery like uh, arthroscopic surgery the uh, labor room was also upgraded and our x-ray has been digitized now today um, everybody in the consultation room they are able to view the x-ray as soon as the x-ray is taken it is uh, pushed in through the into the computer uh, computerization we have practically uh, all departments now 
um, uh, the consultants can view the previous his the OPD history. They can also access, if he has been inpatient, the IP file, everything sitting in their consultation room, they can access it uh, when a patient comes. If he has a history, they can read it then and there. These were the upgradations. Now we needed more uh, space as we went along. The first uh, uh, additions were done, uh, eight doctor's quarters we had so that we can house in-house consultants in our premises and they would be available to us uh, 24 by 7. We also had a nurse's hostel so that even the nurses, bulk of the nurses can stay in the premises. The next big expansion was the new OPD block. As I mentioned, the daily attendance was about 150, but it went on increasing. Today, actually, our attendance is anywhere between 700 to 800 a day. And at, on some days, particularly the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, these are the three very heavy days uh, in our hospital, it has touched 1,000 also. Now, in order to meet this requirement, we had to have a new block. And we had a new OPD block. The foundation stone was laid on 12 January 2008. And uh, we added about 32,500 square feet of space by completing this in two years' time. This was actually in uh, 12th of January 2010, Guruji inaugurated it. Uh, we have a system of uh, open house. It's a walk-in hospital. We don't have a system of appointments. Everybody who comes, he registers. He is seen by one specialist or the other in his turn. Uh, thanks to the popularity of our doctors, the attendance, as you see, has increased. The OPD attendance has increased from year to year, and it is bursting, so to say. That is the view of the OPD block from outside. This is the uh, inpatient ground floor uh, view. I'm uh, sorry, outpatient ground floor view. And they, we have got 23 consultation rooms in the ground and the first floor. And the pharmacy, ECG, dressing room, sonology rooms, registration, cash counter, computer server room. Then the first floor has also got uh, the dental department with three dental chairs. We have dental super specialities also. Then uh, we, in this block, in the second floor, we have some ward rooms. We have an oncology ward, we've got a daycare ward, and a post-operative ward. In the third floor, this is a sort of an academic block, so to say. We have a library, we have a conference hall, an auditorium where clinical meetings, seminars, etc. are all held. This is, which is a preparation which we did for our uh, other upgradation, that is we, when we started postgraduate courses, the DNB, that is the Diplomat of the National Board. The basement has the X-ray department, and car parking for doctors. <coughs> Adjacent to this OPD block, we built another block it's called the Sushruta block. In the Sushruta block, we'll, we'll tell you the other uh, ground floor uh, has got a radiotherapy unit. The first and the second floors uh, have been given to Narayan Hirdayalaya. They are a heart care unit where they have a cath lab and they perform uh, all interventional procedures short of cardiac surgery in our premises. And uh, on the third floor, uh, we have our own three modern operation theaters. This is the inauguration of uh, the Sushruta block by Dr. V.S. Acharya, the then Home Minister.
This is the view of the Shushruta block. Uh, as I said, the ground floor has got a radiotherapy equipment. This is an equipment uh, from China. Uh, this is the first of its kind in, in India. As again, it's a Swedish Electra system which has got a very large number of cobalt sources. This has got just 18 sources which are collimated and pointed at the tumor in a very precise way and is able to uh, hit the tumor uh, very accurately without uh, damage to the surrounding tissues. So <clears throat> this has been in the ground floor. It's also an outsourced unit. As I mentioned, uh, this is a view of the cath lab on the right, a view of their coronary care unit uh, in the second floor of the Sushruta block. As I see, they do everything, angioplasty, angio stenting, pacemaker implantation, everything they do, as I said, sort of uh, uh, cardiac surgery, open heart surgery. A neurocenter also has been added th there itself, and they are doing now neurosurgery also. So we have emerged as a super specialty hospital. <laughs> this is our major operation theater. This is uh, absolutely modern, uh, high level of sterility, which is required by m many uh, operations like uh, ophthalmology operations, uh, joint replacement and so on. And uh, I must uh, say that uh, practically every hospital, even abroad, they're all worried about the sterility of the operation theaters. And um, even now they are battling the hospital-based uh, infections, uh, or the MRSA, the staphylococci, which are uh, very, very resistant to antibiotics. Uh, I must uh, say here that we have had very, very few cases of infection in our hospital arising from surgeries. We have maintained a very high level of sterility, particularly in the operation theaters, the post-operative wards, and the ICUs. We also modernized our labor room, and now the OBG, obstetrics and gynecology OT, is also now on par with the major OTs. So all the three plus two, five OTs are all modern absolutely. Uh, there was a need for uh, modernizing our canteen and more. Uh, we needed uh, doctor's quarters, so we built a new canteen block, 10 uh, new doctor's quarters. Some people who attended uh, the uh, Pratishtha, Punar Pratishtapana of the temple would have stayed in some of the rooms in this doctor's quarters. Uh, the laboratory has been shifted now to the ground floor, absolutely refurbished. It is functional from 28th of December. Um, Guruji will be formally dedicating it, uh, possibly on the 4th of February when he visits Bangalore. Now we need more space. Now we are hemmed in Augustine two acres of land. We have to find more and more space. We can only grow vertically. Even though we, we vertically, we have covered only 30% of the area. The remaining 70% is still open, but we have to go further. We are hoping to get clearance for uh, additional construction very soon. And we, we propose to add uh, two, two floors on the existing uh, new OPD and the Sushruta blocks, for which we have laid the foundation to take six floors already. So this, we hope uh, another 30,000 square feet of space will be added in the next two years. That will be the end of our construction uh, because we can't go any further because of the height limitations due to the nearness to a functioning airport. 
that will be the last of the constructions and that will be uh, the, the finished uh, hospital would be our offering to the centenary celebrations. We have emphasis on uh, quality. We started with an ISO certification in 2010. We got the certification ISO 9000 2008. It is renewed, it is current. F further, we are also working towards uh, accreditation by National Bureau of uh, National uh, Accreditation Bureau of Hospitals and ABH on uh, the laboratory National Accreditation Bureau for Laboratories and ABL. We are working towards it. Hopefully, in uh, six months to a year's time, we should be able to achieve it. Uh, this is a difficult task uh, which requires cooperation of every section of the hospital, our staff, consultant doctors, and everybody. It's a very uphill task. We are working at it. We hope to achieve it. Another forum is the elevation of status of the hospital as a teaching institution. We started the postgraduate courses in DNP, that is Diplomate of the National Board of Examinations. We started with obstetrics and gynecology, we were accredited for that in 2010. And 2011, we got accreditation for DNP in medicine. So both the courses are uh, running. We hope we'll be able to add some more as uh, days go by. The Chimai Institute of Nursing, which started with uh, a three-year diploma nursing course, which is now phased out, and we have upgraded to a nursing college, and uh, with an intake of 40 a year, the college courses are going on from 2010, uh, 2009 and 10. Uh, the popularity of our hospital is mainly through word of mouth, because we don't uh, advertise our satisfied clients of the hospitals. We don't put a welcome board in our hospital. <laughs> we don't also say, please come again. <laughs> but the people who get treated and felt happy with us, they are our uh, best uh, canvases. And uh, uh, we have a system of uh, feedback. We have session boxes in the uh, OPD ward. We have feedback forums given to inpatients and we get uh, feedbacks to people, people and we try to address all the grievances and make improvements wherever required. This is a continuous process. Uh, this is the start of structure that we have. About 45% of the beds are in our constitutional and general wards and about uh, remaining 35%, about 55% uh, uh, in semi-private and private wards. The model is that um, we, the concession of general wards work at below cost, semi-private and private wards are cost, cost plus. And there's a cost subsidization going on between the two. And if I let out a secret, uh, the, when you look at the financials, you will find that uh, the, what we spend uh, and what we get from the wards, they even out. That is, the cross subsidization is complete. And where do we get our surpluses? We get our surpluses basically from our diagnostics, laboratory, and our pharmacy. These are the two places which give us real surpluses. We are happy because that way we are not burdening the patients and we are getting it in a different form. Now, when we started the expansion, I did not know where the money will come from. I had negotiated a loan from the Andhra Bank, which is a bank which is located in our premises. I had signed the agreement also and said, I will draw the money as and when required. The surpluses from the hospital which gradually increased, were able to sustain our expenditure throughout and did not, I did not draw a single penny uh, loan from the bank.
is that they are personnel. These are the list of all our specialities. You'll find all the specialities and super specialities are also covered. In fact, if we get this additional area, the Naran Hridaya lab will be expanding a dialysis unit. They, they will also probably put up a couple of operation theatres and cardiac surgery also will be done in the premises of our hospital. This is some figures. See, when uh, I was listening to the presentations, I was overwhelmed. Uh, Gurudev's millions of words, pregnant with meaning, suffused with wisdom. The schools, Chalmaya schools, running to millions of students, car touching millions of families. Where do I get my millions from? The number of uh, outpatients you will find is, you uh, uh, will find that the two lakhs. Uh, that goes up the numbers which over the years have yeah, grown from 56,000 to two lakhs. And uh, this is growing. Our bed occupancy is about 75 percent, our ICU occupancy is over 80 percent and uh, it's uh, very satisfactory and very generating these surpluses. And to that we give a concession uh, to senior citizens, disability able persons, we give concession, we, give, we get donations also, we got a welfare fund, uh, dialysis we are helping dialysis patients, 30% of the charges we subsidize. And uh, people with cleft palate, we are being very subsidized treatment we are giving. One thing before I, this is the last uh, slide, uh, some figures. In the last uh, 10 years, the investment that we have put in is of the order of, in the case of civil works, 14 crores, equipment, 6 crores, total, I'm sorry, yes, total 20 crores met entirely from our own resources. <laughs> we hope to continue to sustain this in all our expansion and further endeavors and uh, this certainly, probably, hopefully, has fulfilled the vision which Puj uh, Gurudev had when he started this in 1968-69. Uh, hope you feel satisfied that we have lived up to his expectations. This is entirely due to the fulsome support of the trustees of the Karnataka Chinmaya Seva Trust and the blessings of uh, Guruji and Swami Bhagavan Ji. Hari Om.